So you can only come forward and put the chin on the chin, right? A microscope called a slit lamp is used to examine your eyes closely. This instrument requires you to place your chin and forehead against a rest and Ketan will move the microscope quite close to your eye to ensure he has a good view. He will also use lenses held close to your eyes so he gets a good view of the back of your eyes. Nothing will touch your eyes but Ketan will touch your eyelids occasionally. If your pupils are small and Ketan finds it difficult to check the back of your eyes he may need to put some drops in your eyes, with your consent, which will make your pupils bigger. The drops can sting when initially put in and take about 20 minutes to have an effect. Alongside making your pupils bigger, they can blur your vision, especially up close, so it is strongly recommended that you don't drive for at least 6 hours after the examination if Ketan uses these. It is advised that you also bring sunglasses as you may be more light sensitive for the duration of the effect. Don't worry if you have driven into the university for your examination. Ketan can book you for another appointment on a day which you can arrange another means of transport to complete this part of the examination. During the slit lamp examination, Ketan will put an orange dye in your eyes to help him judge the quality of your tears and the health of the front of your eyes. This dye doesn't sting and is flushed out by your tears within about 30 seconds. Photographs and scans of the back of your eyes give supplementary information regarding the health of your eyes. To take these, you will be required to put your chin and forehead against a rest and whilst keeping your eyes still, a camera will be brought close to your eye and flash. This flash is very bright and can dazzle you for a few seconds. The camera won't touch your eyes.